Hello guys, this is Little Boo here, and I'm sorry if I have a little bit of a wisp. I just got my tongue pierced, and um, it hurts. Anyway, today I'm going to be showcasing my betas, and what types of betas that I have. Now, if you feel that those aren't the type of betas that I have, please correct me. I mean, I'm just going on what the pet shop is telling me. Alright, so... I'm going to do my males first. I'm going to save the best male for last. And um, first up is Henry. And he is a male. Uh, he is a male dragon tail. And I got him on the 13th of this year. There he is. Now my next male that I'm going to be showing. He just got out of quarantine. I guess this well this one is um his name is Nacho, but he's the one that my teacher had gotten me. I guess he had um I guess ick. But uh I healed him from that. And uh he's missing a decent sized portion of his back tail. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's a decent sized portion. And he is a male fan tail. And actually all of these guys, I've gotten them on the uh, same day, which is on the 13th. And um, let me go get my other males and I'll be back. Alright guys, so the next male beta, his name is Pacific, and he is a dragon scale male. Now he has already bred, I don't know if you guys can see him good, hold on. He has already bred, um, I'm actually taking care of his babies now. And I'm gonna wanna show him or show their babies in the last video. Now, the best female—I mean, male, not female. The best male that I have. He is a elephant ear male fanta. And I don't—I didn't name him yet. So if you guys have any good names for him. Please comment below, and I will decide on the best name for him. But he is a beautiful male beta. See? All right. Well, now I'm gonna move on to my females. Now I have gotten some. Well, my mom got me some females from the pet shop. Females they don't really mark their names like the species of beta but the first one I haven't named them yet but I think she is a short dragon tail that's what she looks like so then the next one she's purple the other one's blue this one oh, this one she's blue this one is purple. And she looks like a short moon tail. I'm sorry, I, I sound really funny right now. Apologize for that, guys. It'll go away in about a week. Now, my other females, let me go grab them. Alright, guys, so the next female. Her name is Peppermint, and she is a short fan tail. Her colors won't come up as good, but she literally, under her scales, looks like a peppermint. That's why I named her Peppermint. If I had a better camera, it'd probably come up. And the next one, her name is Ocean. And she is a 
short crown tail. Alright, so now let me put all my betas away and I'll get the babies and show you the rest. Alright guys, now this batch of beta fry was bred. The male is Pacific and the female is Ocean. You can see the date that they hatched right there. And then... my camera will focus there is little baby betas in there there's about a hundred I'm guessing but I feed them um I can't find micro worms anywhere and I can get them online just been having I haven't had the uh, internet too but I put a little leaf in there just for them for some cover and I'm gonna go put them back. All right. All right, guys. Now, what I feed my betas and treat them with, I treat them with uh, beta fix, and this is a bacteria um, fungi medicine that uh, helps with the betas, and this is what I use on uh, my other beta that had ick and what I feed them when they're not breeding is uh, beta pellets from widely and I got froze this is something new that I'm gonna try I got freeze-dried bud worms and this you can use on betas my camera will focus wait no? Okay. But you can use it on betas. And directions say to let it sit for um, three minutes in water. That's what I did. And I'm going to be feeding them today. And um, I feed them live blood worms. So. Um, I'm going to pick out the most aggressive eaters that I have. And I'll get right back to you. Sorry about that. Um, here is Peppermint, and I'm going to feed her now. There she goes. She bit the test tube. That's what she loves doing. Uh, I'm feeding her live right now. I'm hoping to breed her with my elephant ear. Basically all. My next video I'm deciding is either going to be one of me playing Minecraft or one of me setting up my breeder's tank. I'm sorry, there's a motorcycle outside and it's loud. But one is going to be either me playing Minecraft, a tutorial on Minecraft, or um, me either setting up my breeder's tank with my bed. And uh, I've tried breeding peppermint with um, uh, Henry, but um, they got into a 
huge fight and I got scared for her and she lost a couple of fins. I know she was ready because I, like, I saw the vertical lines on her and um, there's a lot of other ways you can tell when a, fe a female beta is ready. But what I'm going to actually do is feed the rest of the freeze dried blood worms to my goldfish because they didn't eat today. That's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, and remember to like and subscribe.